fourth T20. There were runs of plenty. It got some likes. Here's your highlights. Well, the garden furniture, they won the toss. They decided to have a bat and the garage bin went off like a train. At the other end, little garden bench. What a lovely shot that was straight down the ground for four. And immediately it looked like it might be a long day in the field, even though it was 20 overs as there goes a six off the bat of little garden bench. But it was garage bin who was catching the eye once again. This young man is one of the great discoveries of this garden cricket summer. Look at that shot over extra cover, one bounce and away for four. And he was absolutely racing along as was the little garden bench. And one word for all of this, utter, utter carnage. That's actually three words, but carnage is the key one. And Garage been there, look at that for a late cut. Just such lovely hands, just gliding that one away and then whipping the ball through mid-wicket to bring up a quite brilliant 50. And there, acknowledging the crowd once again, little garden bench, always lovely to see him raising his lid. But Garage Bin wasn't finished there. Oh, no, no, no. Driving away through extra cover as the score just raced past 100, then past 150 as Little Garden Bench continued to play quite beautifully himself, going past 50 with an enormous six. Garage Bin there off the front foot, whipping Viv Richards-esque through the leg side. But then he went in the 90s after a magnificent innings, Garage Bin, and the celebrations, I have to say, for bits and P says were a little muted and respect there a pat on the back for garage bin out came petrol mower and the runs just continued to flow as petrol mower drove beautifully through the covers and look at that from little garden bench just opening the face gliding it down to third man as petrol mower continued to just play shots all around the ground there a reverse lap for four, a reverse lap, everybody. For four, from the petrol mower, just showing off now. And it was all down to the little garden bench, who was driving straight down the ground and away for four to bring up a quite brilliant hundred. There aren't many of them in garden cricket T20, but the little garden bench, 102 not out, 235 for one from the garden furniture. That was always going to be a tough, tough chase. And it started badly when gun for hire caught behind on review just off the glove. Now, a reminder here that a win for the garden furniture will take us through to the decider on Friday under light. So this was crucial. Absolutely key. Terrible review there from gun for hire in the first over. Definitely hit his glove. Gun for hire. Gone for four. And he was followed immediately by the launcher. Horrible moment this for the launcher, just picking out backward point with an outside edge. Four for two in the second over. Four for two, chasing 236. Then the cameo went, bold, all ends up by the wall, hitting the top of his middle stump. That was four for three, everybody. Four for three. Absolute chaos out there in the middle. Nobody knew what was happening. The garden furniture just cock a hoop. The Maverick came out, and the Maverick got off the mark with a sumptuous drive through the covers for four. But then, but then... The Maverick went as well, would you believe it? Four down already. Here's the Maverick again. There he goes. That was the wicket I was talking about. I was a bit premature there. Chipping that one to extra cover. The Maverick gone as well. And wickets were just falling. Here is the Maverick again. Why have we got that again? We've got it on repeat. It was such a bad shot. We're going to show you it twice for some reason. Who's editing this thing? Get me the editor in here. Is this the Maverick again? This has all gone wrong. No, no, no. That's not the Maverick. That's the finisher. Caught behind without scoring. Five down already. And at the moment, it was just an absolute procession. Here's the specialist. What will happen? He'll be out. Inside edge. Caught behind. Bye bye specialist in your silly goggles. He's gone for six. Just chaos out there. Absolute chaos out there. The only person doing anything really was quick hands. Now, for some reason, again, the editor has put in a conversation that quick hands was having, which you can't hear. I don't know what he was discussing there. It could have been his dinner, could have been where he's going this evening. But what a good shot that is from quick hands. 
those hands are very, very quick, you have to say. He was joined by the improviser. Now this, this look the other way, everybody. Oh dear, the improviser. I think trying to chip that over the keeper's head, but only chipping it straight up in the air to extra cover. Improviser, gone, back in the pavilion. As I say, this is just an absolute procession. Off goes the whipper, whipping all round a straight one. Eight down, then the smasher. Oh dear, top edge, cheerio smasher. Smasher gone as well for four, nine down. Quick hands, meanwhile, was still playing some lovely shots with his quick hands. That one whistling away through the covers for four more. But it was game, set, match, really. Well, it was game, set, match, because look here, bits and pieces, the last one to go. And this summed up the day, really. Look, playing back onto his stumps, bits and pieces gone. That was a victory by 100 and 85 runs for the garden furniture huge win for the garden furniture and it means everybody it means hold your horses hold your breath we go to the decider friday night under the lights